robotic, minimally invasive resection of a large head of pancreas cyst adenoma. Primary author, Dr. Donald McCain, Chief of Surgical Oncology. Second author, Dr. Michael Matsuura. This video details the robotic, minimally invasive surgical approach for the resection of a large cyst adenoma of the pancreatic head. The patient is a 78-year-old female with main symptoms consisting of abdominal discomfort. Her complete workup included laboratory and radiographic evaluations. She had no evidence of biliary or pancreatic obstruction on her diagnostic workup. Her radiographic evaluation included a contrast-enhanced CT scan. Here are selected images through the large 8-centimeter cyst arising from the pancreatic head. These images demonstrate the proximity of the cyst to the main, non-dilated pancreatic duct. We can see the cyst abutting the SMB splenic vein confluence here. Here and here, we see the cyst in close proximity to the duodenal sweep. The Da Vinci S robotic surgical system was used for this minimally invasive approach. This diagram shows the port placement strategy to allow the robot to dock over the patient's right shoulder. We utilize three working ports, one umbilical camera port, and a left lower quadrant assist port as shown in the diagram. Laparoscopy was carried out via the umbilical port. The robotic ports were placed under direct vision and inserted to the center of the thick black line as demonstrated in these clips. Here we see the large cyst protruding from the lesser sac. The robot was then docked as previously described with the three working ports and instruments used for the dissection. Here we see the PK RFA dissector on the right and the robotic monopolar scissors on the left. The third grasper was used to retract the stomach out of view. Here the lesser sac is opened exposing the cyst. This shows further immobilization of the cyst through the lesser sac. Here, dissection is begun freeing the cyst from the distal stomach and pulling the cyst away from the proximal duodenum. Now, the dissection begins freeing the head of the pancreas from the cyst. The RFA dissector makes this highly vascular area more manageable. Now we can see the thin film covering normal pancreatic tissue being dissected away from the cyst. These images here demonstrate the pancreatic head and neck being freed from the cyst. The arrow shows exposed normal pancreatic tissue as the stomach is placed on counter traction. Now we have further mobilization of the cyst out of the lesser sac. We see the stomach sweeping around the cyst as it protrudes from the lesser sac. 
we can begin to appreciate the size of the cyst in relation to adjacent structures. Here we see the cyst connected to the pancreatic head via a broad stalk. A tenaculum is used to grasp the cyst and retract the mass of the pancreatic head. In this sequence, the RFA dissector is used to control a branch of the portal vein. Now, with only a broad cuff of pancreatic tissue attached to the cyst, we begin the final portion of the resection utilizing linear endogia staplers. Here we see the division of the cyst near the proximal duodenum, utilizing the stapler device. And now we progress further with the stapler device. This sequence shows the cyst completely resected off the head of the pancreas. Finally, with the cyst completely removed, it is placed in a large endocatch bag. The hemostatic cyst bed is seen here with pancreatic tissue sealed with several staple lines. Here we see the relation of the gastric lesser curve and proximal duodenum to where the cyst was. Finally, we see the cyst extracted through a small midline incision. Closer evaluation of the incision reveals it to be small enough just to accommodate the surgeon's hand. Here is a close-up of the specimen. Here are images of the gross pathologic evaluation of the cyst. This is followed by a bivalve examination of the mass. The interior has a typical honeycomb appearance of a serous cyst adenoma. Microscopic evaluation shows the thin cyst wall here. This is followed by slides of the margin, demonstrating a cuff of normal pancreatic tissue abutting the resected cyst specimen. The patient regained bowel function on postoperative day number two. She was discharged from the hospital days later. In conclusion, this video demonstrates the successful resection of a pancreatic head cyst adenoma utilizing an exclusive robotic, minimally invasive approach.